Hey everybody, I wanted to do a little update on this process. Those um, all pro cylinder heads. I will uh, recap how you set them up before you CC them. Got it on these heads that have been ported, or particularly these aftermarket heads. You have to put your rocker arm bolt in that hole with a little bit of Vaseline to make sure you seal that hole that pokes into your intake port. Um, that happens both when you're porting a set of heads to a, be a 215 or bigger port and apparently on these aftermarket as cast heads that rocker arm bolt hole protrudes into your intake runner. Um, I've mentioned in previous videos that uh, all that means is when you assemble the engine, you have to put thread sealant on the intake rocker bolts. Otherwise, no matter what people think, it will suck oil down into the intake port. But, in order to get ready to CC this head, I just assembled, assembled one intake and one exhaust valve. Uh, put just a little bit of Vaseline on the stem, which helps seal the valve guide. Then I went ahead and put a little bit of Vaseline just around the, the sealing surface of the valve to the valve seat. Put on my uh, checking springs, you know, stock LS retainers and locks. Put my bolt in my intake rocker bolt hole. Um, these are those 202157 valves. If you guys can see back here. But it's got it there actually slightly bigger than advertised. Um, this intake runner, now keep in mind, it's a habit of mine when I'm checking a cylinder head. I always use one of the inside runners. In other words, sorry, I always test or check one of the runners on the inside of the head because there's a lot of different manufacturers that the end ports, intake and exhaust, they just end up being bigger for some reason. So I don't want to skew the results by checking the end ports per se. So I want everybody to know this all pro, uh, supposed to be 215 cc runner, actually came out to 217.5 cc. So it's well within, you know, what the average or production uh, tolerances should be. I mean, if someone advertises a 215 cc head, I would hope that it's going to be at least 215 cc because you want to make sure and get a good bang for your buck. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and move on and get my uh, CCing stuff set up for my exhaust port. But I wanted to do a quick update on the intake port of these all pro 215 cc heads that came out at 217.5. I appreciate you guys watching.